Hey friends, in this video, I would like to show you how to go back to Store Chrome from Cyanogen mode. I have installed Cyanogen mode and one of the one of the viewer asked me how to go back to Store firmware from the customized version. So in this, I have installed Cyanogen mode 30 and I will show you how to go back to Store firmware. For this you need some of the files which I have mentioned in the description you can download those files and you need to maintain those files in micro SD card this recovery and the boot images so these two files you need to keep in micro SD and by default when we installing this customized ROM we have TWRP installed in the boot in the recovery so that will be helpful for you to in flash with the recovery and boot images for the stock firmware now just press the power button and power off we are just shutting down okay now keep the volume down button and press the power button at the same time Now we are going to the recovery options. This is team recovery project and we are in the recovery. Here we have to swipe allow modifications. Now in the TWRP you have to first wipe the data. So click on the wipe and go to advanced wipe. Here you have to format the entire data installed. Dalvik and Rcache system data and internal storage if nothing is there and cache ASDF micro SD and USB OTG you have you can leave. Now you just swipe to wipe. Now we wipe the data. Now go back, go back, go back. Now we need to install the recovery and image in the micro SD. So select storage to micro SD. Click OK. Now we have to install image. Install image and you will see boot.image and recovery.image. You need to install these two. First we install with boot, boot.image and select partition to flash image as boot and swipe, swipe to confirm flash now we install the boot now go back go back and select recovery dot image now the select partition to flash image is recovery press on that and swipe to confirm flash now we install the recovery as well as the boot now we can reboot system Now when we reboot, we will be uh, getting the stock recovery. The TWRP is completely flashed off. Now we will be reaching in the stock recovery. Make sure that you have the file in the SD card and you, you can press the down volume down button to come back to up play update from SD card you have to up play update from SD card make sure that you have the file in the SD card which means the firmware downloaded from as use firmware support now I'm having the 1.17 version here and I'm going to update with this firmware this is a stock firmware provided by Asus. Now you can see install SD card, finding update package and opening update package, verifying update package. So it will take some time. What we does here is that first we come down to our TWRP recovery which we installed for flashing customized ROM then we install the boot and recovery images of stock ROM 
now in the custom recovery we modified it is installed with the stock rom recovery that is the rom recovery provided by asus then we we are installing the firmware update given by the asus you can download this firmware from asus website and this version is 1.17 wwsku which is the second last version before marshmallow release and this is a stable version and i am installing this one to go back to the stock version i will step i will skip this step uh, so that you can have the better view it will take around 10 to 15 minutes now it is finished install from sd card complete now just uh, come down to wipe cache partition now we wipe the partition cache now we can reboot system now now we are rebooting to our stock firmware which we install right now you can see the asus logo which means we are succeeded the first boot will take some time to load The total process takes almost 10 to 15 minutes. You don't need to worry about this. It is completely normal. I will skip the step. Now we reached the welcome page you have to configure these things I'll skip the step now we reached the Asus firmware version you can see so this is the Asus firmware version you can see the settings and the about this is 5.0.2 and uh, the software information 3.10 kernel and the bill number now we made the developer version and the problem with this version is we will not receive any update this is USB debugging on so that said we installed our firmware version which with all buggy applications thanks for watching if you have any doubts Please comment below. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Have a nice day.